Welcome to the Wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day, Episode 2. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And tonight, this is Episode 2 of the Wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. If you haven't seen Episode 1, click right over here in the description. I'll have a link for you. You can see how this shave began. All right. So we're going to continue on with our Gold Dollar 208 that we honed up a while back. All right. Nice hollow ground. And for everything else, I am using Vanderhagen. And this is a premium shave set. It comes with a brush, soap, and a bowl. All right. All in this box. And you can get this really inexpensively right off of Amazon. And I've even found it uh, at a grocery store and at a pharmacy for a good price. Uh, a lot of times I can get it uh, cheaper than I could buy a really good brush. Now this is the brush that came with it, which is 100% boar hair. And it's really a decent brush. You know, for the price that you're paying, you're getting a bowl to put the puck in, you're getting premium shave soap, and you're getting a brush. And it's all for the less than the price of most brushes. You know, so it's pretty cool. It really is. All right, so tell me guys, how are you doing? It's Wednesday, right? We made it halfway through the week. How's your week going? Hmm? How are you doing? You're having a good week? I hope so. Hopefully work is doing good. And uh, if you're retired, that's even better. You know, you got time on your hands. You got all the projects you can do. Or you could just relax, which would be wonderful. All right. So... Hopefully you're well, and uh, we're going into 2016, or 2017, sorry about that, and uh, got done finally with 2016, and I'm looking forward to a really good year. I am. I hope you guys have a healthy and happy year coming up as well. So far, like I say, mine's going good. Okay, look at that soap. Oh, yeah. You know, not bad. Not bad at all. You know, this is a good place to start. And uh, for scent, this is really clean. It smells clean to me. And I, I would say uh, that's good because you could use this with any kind of aftershave, cologne, anything you want, it would it will work with it because it won't clash. And we're just having a nice relaxing beginner shave. This is how I started guys so I really uh, and enjoying it. For me, this is relaxing and enjoyable. All right, so now this is the second pass, which we're going to go across the grain on my neck and against the grain on my cheeks. Now, right there in the center, that is against the grain. Where 
from the sides here, that's pretty much across the grain. Okay, now time to switch hands. And we're always stretching. You know, you have to stretch that skin, get it nice and taut. Nice. Yeah, hit a couple little bumps there. Yeah, I've got that half done. Now let's work on this side. Looking good. I hit a couple of little bumps. No big deal. You know, it happens.
Okay. Nice. This, I'll tell you what, guys. This is enjoyable. Nice, relaxing shave. There you have it. Pass two complete. Now let's get that washed off, see how we did. Oh yeah. And guys, this stuff is really slick. Really leaves a good amount of residual slickness. So, you know, if you needed to do some kind of buffing or something, you could probably do it with this. Without any hesitation, it would work fine. And as you're doing it, you know, you just need to figure out how your beard grows. You need to learn whatever stroke it takes to get to that growth in the direction you're trying to go. All right. If it's across the grain or against the grain or with the grain, you just need to figure out how to do that. And then just keep doing it the exact same way every time. And then that muscle memory will kick in. And I'm telling you guys, you will have something. Because once you get that muscle memory, you'll be able to go much quicker. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, get that blade cleaned off. Let's switch over.
All right, nice. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Oh yeah, all right, half pass complete. We are done, guys. All we gotta do is check it, see how we did. Oh wow, okay. Nice relaxing shave, inexpensive gear. This is how I started with wet shaving and straight razor shaving is just like what you saw. All right, excellent. We put alum everywhere. So really you guys, you could you can get in to straight razor wet shaving pretty easily and it doesn't have to be expensive. It really doesn't. Not a big deal. Now I'm also going to be using my Thayer's and this is Lavender Witch Hazel. And I did find out right at the beginning that Witch Hazel is so good. For your skin and I found that it really helps and on top of everything else my wife likes it which is always a bonus right now we're going to top this off with Nivea Poche Balm and now guys it's all about taking care of the skin so, it is a good idea if you can tolerate a bomb to go ahead and do it. You know, just go ahead and rehydrate and moisturize that skin. All right, there you go. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. Really appreciate you and all you do for me. Click right over here to see how this shave began. Click down here for a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me. Subscribe, like, comment. Share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.